good people welcome back to freedom with frida in case you're new here hi my name is frida nguku and this is the best place for you so subscribe and join the family now um i can walk with this yeah like this the whole day and not feel ashamed or feel a certain way like i feel like growing up we were scared of ah growing up you still want to be a baby but growing up is a good thing because you get to a point where you're comfortable with yourself you know your strength you know your weaknesses and nothing really um gets you feeling like you know i need to do a certain i need to do things a certain way so i can please this person and um i'm talking about this because as i was comping this year because i'm supposed to go out there and um help a friend of mine get um a house she's looking for a house she's supposed to move from nakuru to tawala so as i do that i i thought about this whole thing how i could never walk with my naked hair and especially when i've not blow dried it and remember then I actually had, uh, I'd relaxed my hair. Now I haven't, but I'm very comfortable with it. And that got me thinking about some of the things that we've learned to accept as you grow up. You're like, you know what? I wasn't comfortable with this, but right now I am. But before we get onto that, today's Monday. I want to take you back to yesterday and let's see how I spend my afternoon, enjoy some music. Then let's get back here and house <laughs>
tunasikia sauti pale mwanzo wenda ongezea mbili mbili eh watajibia kweli sauti tunde kazi go been able to enjoy all that thank you for everyone who comes through to watch me i've been getting some of you guys who actually come to fan city and they send me um pictures and um videos of me performing and i'm like so you actually in the building anyway follow me up on facebook and instagram you get be getting more of these updates but meanwhile let's talk about the things that growing up i've learned to accept or i had to learn or unlearn and i'm like you know what that actually makes sense and let's get to number one one biggest lesson is do you don't ever change for everyone for anyone sorry do you and don't ever change for anybody unless you're changing for yourself don't do things because um this person wants me to do things this way if it's making you uncomfortable don't do it and don't feel like you're very difficult like i'm this difficult person i can't cope with people uh people expect this kind of people in life and you feel like you're you're difficult or you feel like there's something wrong with you you're just different so do you if if you're one person who doesn't drink and i've gotten this from antonio the mc if you follow him on on instagram he's a friend of eric Omondi. he says he doesn't drink and people keep asking how do you live your life he feels like it's weird but that is that is what his life is he doesn't fancy drinking so if you're one person who doesn't fancy that life don't do it for people all right um live your life if your kind of party if, you, if your kind of fun is going out go out if your kind of fun is being indoors and watching a movie then do that but don't do things for people because at the end of it all imagine people never get satisfied they'll always come back and be like ah they always have something to say so do you do things that make you happy not necessarily other people another lesson i've gotten in life is nobody owes you anything my goodness i wish i was told this early enough nobody not even your family not even your spouse not even nobody owes you anything like they know there's no one on this planet who was literally brought here for you to no nobody so fix your mess take responsibility of your life like um i feel like the only person who really uh would host someone is if you have a baby that is um less than 18 years who is eh? at least then who is below 18 years because you brought me to this world i'm still a baby you need to take care of me so you owe me education you owe me that but the moment you're past 18 years imagine nobody owes you like i'm a content creator at you you're supposed to come and support me you don't owe me that you don't at you're my family so you're supposed to watch my videos no at you oh you're my sister so you're supposed to be there for me and the moment you accept that nobody owes you anything and have zero expectations of people life becomes very easy because when people are there for you it feels like they're doing they're there for me you know you feel honored to have them you feel grateful because it's not their responsibility to support you it's not their responsibility to pay your bills it's not their responsibility to fix your mess no they're doing that because they love you so you get to appreciate life even more than when you sit there and expect people are going to be there for me people are going to do things for me you get frustrated and love life becomes extremely hard so nobody owes you anything number three your small humble beginning is for you and you alone like you see that living in a cabbage sitter um being um being able to live in a house where you don't even have a seat or you're starting life and you're starting with just a mattress imagine that's your beginning imagine that's your life imagine it's for you and you alone i mean ever imagine later in life when you've made it you're living in a mansion you're living this life you've dreamt of or you're traveling um places you're living the life you've dreamt of um and you want to be able to encourage someone if you don't have a story what story are you gonna tell so appreciate the small beginnings appreciate the moments you didn't have food appreciate um that story of yours where you didn't have rain for two months and you slept out i mean when you be giving sorry what story will you be giving to people 
to encourage your, your daughter or your son or maybe a friend who is stuck somewhere if you don't even have your own experience. So can we all just stop feeling like we need to explain why I'm living in a bed sitter? Can we all stop feeling like I need to explain why I'm not driving? It's your story. We have different timelines and that's perfectly okay. When it's my time, I'll shine. And by the way, remember, you can get from up here and drop down. But you can also get from down and go up. So it's your story. Leave it as is. The next one is, it's never that serious. Enjoy life. Man, I think I've said that like a million times because I learned it very late in life that um, it's never that serious. I mean, it's never that serious. And yesterday I was speaking to one of the guys who I work for and he was telling me I'm, very, I'm a very impatient person. That's a weakness I have and I know it. And as much as I try to work on it, it still bothers me. And he was telling me, I was trying to reach out to him and he was occupied and he was not able to get back. And I got irritated and, and I texted him and I'm like, you know what, let me know how we're going to work from now. And he was like, Frida, I mean, I think you need to learn to be patient because in life you just can't live without patience. Like you need it. The word is need, not you need patience. Because you're working with different people who have different personalities, who reason out differently, been brought up differently. You're working with um, a God who you can't even tell what plan he has for you. Like, you need patience because whatever he's planning for you and you don't know what it is, you've got to wait and believe and have faith. So patience is very key in life, man. So that's another lesson that you've got to learn and, you know, hold it up. Uh, the other one is help where you can, no expectations. I've learned that when I can help, uh, like now I'm supposed to go and help someone get a house because they are far and they want to be able to move. If you are able to spare a few of your minutes and help someone, imagine just do it because next time is you. Tomorrow is you. You need someone to help you. And um, you would want to remember a time that want, someone wanted your help. And you were able to give it, but you didn't give. So if you are able to help someone, please do that. And the last one is, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else other than you. And this goes back to your life. This goes back to the things you're doing. Sometimes, um, like when I left my job, it wasn't making sense to people. But it was making sense to me. If it's making sense to me, that is all that matters. I've had people who, um, sorry to give this example, I've had people who are actually virgins and they don't want to give that soul because they're like, hey, people will find me weird. People, And I'm like, it doesn't have to make sense to them why you've decided to keep your virginity or why you've decided to be celibate or why you decided that celibate is not your thing. I mean, do you. Imagine just do you. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone. As long as it's making sense to you, it means you're responsible for it. It means you know the consequences of what you're doing and you're ready for them. Because at the end of it all, when things happen, they happen to you, right? So it doesn't have to make sense to anyone. It just needs to make sense to you. That is enough. That is enough. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Stay positive, stay focused, and see you on my next video. Bye.